Hello everyone, WolfieCast here, back with another Hero Basics video, where I take a hero from Gigantic and tell you exactly what their abilities do, baseline level. Level 1, no upgrades, no talents, nothing special. So this time we have Mozu. Mozu is a ranged damage dealer with the tags Caster. So she has high impact abilities uh, on her Q and E that kind of tend to personify her playstyle. Now, I personally think that she should also have the tag shooter because almost all of her damage output comes from the left mouse button. There's a little bit of damage on the right mouse button and there are upgrades here and there that do increase your overall damage potential, but it's 99% from the left mouse button. And obviously her focus is damage too, but we'll get into that. But anyway, let's go with her uh, stats. First of all, she has 1500 health and 15 armor, making her among the squishiest in the entire game. But she also has a fairly decent range uh, and kind of these a good escape and defensive capabilities. But we'll get into that. Let's start first with her left mouse button, which is called Magic Bolt. Hold to fire down magic bolts that charge while you're firing. Uh, the first charge has 0.45 attack speed. And then the second uh, charge has 1.65 attack speed that lasts for up to three, almost three and a half seconds. Each magic bolt does 60 damage and has a range of 40. And this is what it looks like. So you see, if I hold it down, you see that bar fills slowly. My first two bolts are very slow, but then once the bar is filled up, you're doing just a massive barrage of shots. And the, the description of this ability does not tell you that this ability also has homing. Uh, so from a from a certain range, you're actually homing in on project uh, on your enemy, so long as they're somewhere within your crosshair. Like even if I aim over here to the left a little bit, that's still homing in on Nasus because he's just the one target that's there. It's like a kind of the projectiles kind of sense that there's something hostile there that you're sort of aiming at, and they will generally go into their direction. Now, with the homing in mind, it's important to know that at a certain range, the ability will not be homing in anymore. So even if you're able to see where your target is and you're kind of still generally you're kind of still generally uh, vaguely aiming at them, you're not going to be fully hitting them. You can see even from here, only some of those are hitting, even though I'm mostly targeted on him. This ability also has some damage fall off and it, it's honestly, you're really not going to notice this because you shouldn't be firing unless you're at the medium medium long range that you can get the homing as well unless you just unless you're just really confident with aiming your shots but even from here i can still technically hit nasus like these go really far there we go see but they're they're not homing at all there's a very wide spread and you can see the damage has gone significantly as uh, significantly down as well so like from here if i hit one 33 damage but when i was way up front like right next to him, each shot was doing 51 damage, of course, after armor mitigation. So you really want to be attacking as close as you can, kind of kind of keeping around this range. You're pretty set in stone. Onto the right mouse button, it's called a tractor beam. Hold down a beam that lasts up to five seconds that deals a little bit of ticking damage uh, and slows enemies that you or slows the enemy that you are uh, kind of targeting in front of you with the beam. It's a very simple ability that kind of is a bright purple laser pointer. <laughs> that's, a, that's kind of what we've uh, called it for a little while. Uh, but it kind of looks like this. You just hold down. You hold down for the entire time. And you can still kind of move back and forth. And you kind of you may have noticed that like uh, at a certain range that I wasn't actually able to uh, maintain the tether. So the, the range that it takes, the range where you're in range to attach as well as the range that you can keep to maintain the beam is the same. So even from here, if I hold it, I'm still using the ability, but I have to walk into range and I can also walk out of range. So then this is, you can use this as well to kind of uh, switch targets depending on who you're trying to hit. You're not forced only onto one target. Uh, and of course the beam will break if they get out of line of sight, if they get out of range, it'll break briefly if they do a dodge because they have invulnerability frames. But you can see I just hold it here I can switch over the Matiga. I can switch back. Just so long as I'm, you know, as long as I'm in range and I'm aiming in their, like, mostly in their direction, then that beam is going to attach. Next up is going to be Mozu's Q, which is called Arcane Vortex. Create a vortex in a small radius that lasts for up to four seconds and deflects enemy projectiles that pass through. Now, deflection means that if an enemy projectile passes through that space, it'll 
turn into an allied projectile and then kind of be flicked in a random direction, generally in the generally in the vague direction of where it came from. So the ability looks like this. You see that space anywhere, any abilities that pass through kind of the center center space of that blue circle will get deflected. And it's harder to show against Gnosis because obviously the target dummy doesn't do anything, but the Matiga does stuff, and I will show you what it looks like here. So I place it down. It gets dropped back. And because that Motiga is so big and it was so point blank, then of course the bullet is going to bounce right back into him. But generally the bullets will not uh generally the bullets will not fire back at them because it's not a reflect, it's a deflect, which is different. Uh so it entirely depends on the range and the size of the source, you know. But uh this is really good at kind of defending yourself. This is really good at defending wounds. And there's a there's a pretty short cast range. It's mostly self like imposing here. Maybe you can just fire back on an enemy ranged damage dealer that's firing things at you. And you want to use this reflexively uh, as best you can. Kind of kind of proactive uh, reflexes. Because it does have a little bit of wind up time. So you need to be careful of when you're actually using it. Because if there's, you know, if there's an HK mortar coming at you and it's, you know, there there's a bit of a delay there. So you got to kind of keep that in mind. All right. And Mozu's last basic ability is called Dimension Door. Teleport to the target area somewhere within 12 meters. It's a 15 second cooldown and it looks just like this. So you see small space where you're going and the I hold it. I'm holding it down right now and then you let it go instantly teleport. Now, this is a really cool ability because of the fact that it's such it's such a fast animation that it actually literally cannot be interrupted there. There may be like less than a less than a tenth of a second there may be a window where you can actually interrupt this ability and i've i've tried off camera with them uh with the uh interrupting motigo over there to try to get it to interrupt me i just i can't do it um and this is a this is a cool ability as well because it will it'll teleport you downwards it'll teleport you upwards so long as you're within range and even if you even if you kind of have to weirdly shelve it to the point where it kind of is putting you through a wall there like that ledge that ledge has collision, but the fact that I can target the top there, the ability knows that I want to go to the top, it'll put me on the top. So it's really cool. Rude. Anyway, that is Dimension Door. And finally, we have Mozu's Focus, which is called Death Ray. It's a strong beam attack that deals 95 damage at a very, very fast uh, interval and slows enemies that the uh, beam hits. For focus gain, the maximum targets increases starting at 2 at rank 1, and then 3 targets can be hit at rank 3, or sorry, at rank 2, and then 5 targets can be hit at rank 3. The attack duration also increases per rank starting at a second and a third, a second and a sixth, and then 2.1 seconds at rank 3. So, and you see the ability, you kind of target, and then the brief channel, and she shouts death, right? It's very fun. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And you can you can kind of have it, it pierces through. It doesn't have a very wide spread, so the targets do have to be like relatively clumped together. It's not like conical or anything. It's it's a it's a bit of a wide line, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, but it'll pierce and it'll just kind of attack the first, like the first two closest targets at rank one. And of course, you know, like I said, with each rank, it has more targets that it can hit at most. Uh, and the damage is so incredibly fast. And this this can be interrupted, but the damage is so rapid that it's honestly worth using even in those really tight situations where you're not sure if you're going to be interrupted or not. Very strong focus. Very, uh, very quick. And very subtle as well. Like, she shouts it, and it's... It's interesting, but the damage gets done so quickly you like don't even notice before your half your health bar is missing. But that is the quick and easy rundown for Mozu. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, share, uh, as well as subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much for watching. Have a good day, and I will see you guys on the next one.